Good afternoon guys, welcome back to another episode of Ken Arnold Fishing. Today we're in yet another backwater situation. This one's a good one. We've caught a lot of fish out at this place. Um, if you've seen the channel trailer catching a crankbait fish on Kentucky Lake, big bass on Kentucky Lake, this is where that was filmed at. There's a lot of big fish here, but there's a lot of big carp here as well. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of junk fishing today, throwing a spinner bait, maybe throwing a crankbait. At some point we are gonna try to catch a huge carp. That's on the agenda. That's the one thing I want to do. So let's quit talking. Let's get right to it. What are you expecting to catch today? Um, fish. Good answer. Lily, what are you expecting to catch today? Same. All right, well, since this water is dirtier than my ex-girlfriend, we're just going to start with a uh, spinnerbait. If I can figure out what word this is, this would be a spinnerbait. Hopefully we'll catch a little something something out here. Noticing that there's a ton of big carp around here right now, and it's really making me uh, want to do some snagging. But we're gonna keep chunking away with the, with the spinner bait for just a little bit, so what we can make happen here. Switched it up to a chartreuse colored, chartreuse and white colored spinner bait with a uh, willow leaf blade. See if that makes a difference. Spinner baits are great for two things in shallow water. Number one, they don't get hung up that easily. And I've lost so many baits here this past few weeks because this place is so shallow. And you can cover a lot of water with them in a hurry. And that's one of my favorite reasons to use a, a spinner bait over a crank, especially in shallow water. Even uh, like one foot divers are getting hung up for me here. That's how shallow it is. All right, I think it's time to do some snagging. And to do that, we're really going to be testing the new Speed Demon Pro. This is a very aggressive form of fishing and I don't think that there's a better way to actually test this reel. Hooked up on something monstrous. That's, oh it came off. No it didn't. What is it? Oh that's big. That's huge, whatever it is. Guys, I don't know if this is legal or not. I don't think it is. I'm gonna have to check before I upload this, but I think it's a spoonbill. It is a spoonbill. That's freaking nuts. I've never caught one before in my life. Never even seen them before in person. And I just caught one. This is nuts. This is freaking crazy. <clears throat> come on, please come in. I just want to hold you. I want to touch you. One time. Oh, please. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. What? I caught a spoonbill. I caught a freaking spoonbill. Oh my god. We have them down here? Guys, I don't even know if it's legal to keep these or not, or to catch them or anything. So this video might be a fail, but um, I've never seen these. I thought we only had them up at the dam. So this is really, really cool. This is like a once in a lifetime thing for me. I've been wanting to catch one of these for literally years. And I found one all the way on the southern end of Kentucky Lake. How crazy is that? Let's get this guy back in the water and go after some buffalo or something that's not a spoonbill. You guys are watching the video and you just saw that uh, fish I just caught. That's good. That means that uh, the state told me that I could show you guys that. But if not, well, I just caught a paddlefish, spoonbill, whatever you call it, and uh, released it safely back into the water, which was a bucket list fish for me, and I caught one way down south, where I was told where we could not catch them, where there wouldn't be at. Looky there. We're into another fish, and I don't know what it is, but it isn't happy.
It's big though. It's very big. Oh, it's an Asian carp. Freaking Asian carp just barely got by the back of the fin. Okay. All right. Okay. How am I going to do this? You're hooked twice, dude. You're not going anywhere. Well, okay, I lied. I guess I lied. He is going somewhere. Well, that was interesting. Well, I think that was enough snagging excitement. I caught my new personal best uh, paddlefish. That's what it's called. Hadn't planned on that. Don't even know if I can include it in the video. I think I have a fish. I have a fish? Yeah, I have a fish. What is it? It's a stick fish. All right, well, that happened. I think that's all she wrote, guys. I can't get a bass to eat here, which is really weird. If you've seen any of my videos from out here, you know that this is like one of my favorite places to catch giant bass, but the thing is, I'm not catching them. In fact, I haven't caught them in a long, long time. So I'm kind of concerned. I'm also sorry that my video style is kind of weird. You know, I don't I don't really show my story and my trip that well, and I should. But, you know, it's, it's a work in progress, and we'll get there. Uh, if you're interested in any of the gear that I'm using in this video, there'll be a link down in the description. Um, that's just about it.